Hi, this is Will Jones, part of the Cloud Infrastructure and Applications team here at Cobweb. I'm going to walk us through one of our Power BI showcase reports. Here at Cobweb, we have hundreds of servers running out of multiple data centers as part of a traditional on-premise platform. We collect information regarding performance, status, patch levels, and general availability information regarding all of these servers. You may be used to System Center Operations Manager for collecting availability and performance information, Configuration Manager for update management, and PowerShell scripts for other data gathering. These systems are great, but they're separate. You need to log into multiple systems to get the information you want, understand it, and react to it if required. Using Power BI, we can collect all of these different sources of data into one place and provide a single view, visualize it, and analyze it. Now let's take a look at one of our reports, the Hyper-V Daily Snapshot Report. This is called the Clusters Overview. This Power BI report has data collected using PowerShell and put into a data set. We collect cluster information, node information, and storage information. The information goes back as far as we want it to, but we've manipulated it in Power BI to show us a daily snapshot in this view. As you can see from the right-hand side, we have two clusters in this report, cluster one and cluster two. At the top, we have CPU percentage, memory percentage, and storage percentage in use. We have CPU utilization and memory utilization by nodes, and cluster capacity information. Just from this view, I can see we have some potential problems. It looks like cluster capacity state isn't looking good. Let's click on it and find out more. If I click on the not OK state, immediately my data is filtered by the cluster that is not OK by Power BI. See how the data now stands out on the dashboard. It looks like a faulted node is probably causing the problem, just from the way the node network state pie chart is now jumping out at me. It looks like I'm going to have to do some further digging but already this has pinpointed me into the location for the issue. Thanks to Power BI, one we'll look at this dashboard and see a problem and the impact of it. In this case, the network fault has caused capacity issues in cluster two. Let's see what else we can do. Looks like there are actually more faulted nodes. If I click on all the faulted nodes, overall health today. Again, the information in the data set is filtered just by those nodes that are faulted. I can see cluster one, Node 5 and cluster 2, node 3 are faulted. So it looks like I've got more work to do, but I've identified it very quickly using Power BI. Now, that's a daily snapshot, but using the same data set without the filtering, I can actually look at deep dive information. On this page, we have storage trends based on classification for storage in Hyper-V. Looks like we're fairly stable. There is a downward trend from this data. I've been proactive and determined we don't need to worry about it just yet because all of them are within what I consider normal ranges. Gold, the gold classification is at 48%, silver classification at 74%, and bronze at 44%. On cluster trends, I can see the cluster memory in use, total VMs, average CPU utilization, and average VM guest memory. Everything, again, is fairly stable, slight upward trend on the memory usage, but there is a spike here at the end. Now that spike is outside of the normal trend, so there is something to look into, but again, I can identify everything else seems fairly stable. I can use it to present to my managers when I feel we might need to purchase new equipment, maybe to expand the cluster, get a new RAM, or faster CPUs, all with Power BI. So there, we can see with Power BI, I've taken data we collect regularly on a daily basis, presented it in a format where I can have a cup of coffee in the morning and check everything looks good, where it doesn't look right, it's helped us identify where the problem is and be proactive about it. This is all done for a single pane of glass that is Power BI, another great example of how to use it. Now as a bonus, I'm going to come out of this Power BI report and show you a dashboard. This dashboard is a grouping of reports pinned together. So a daily snapshot of the entire platform. You can see the original report we we're looking at there is now just showing the cluster capacity state. But from this view, I can see performance information for VMware, Hyper-V, see our virtual platform backup jobs, some in warning, some are okay. DPM failures for today, the SAN state, total number of servers, and active terminal server sessions. This is all information we used to collect and put into a database, but now I've visualized it so anyone can see this report if they need to and act on it if necessary. And the data can be put in such a way that anyone can understand it. Let's have a look at the virtual platform backup jobs. I can see historic information regarding those that are in warning state, failed state, or okay. 
I can filter by warning state to see those jobs that are in warning or OK. And there we have it. That's Power BI.